everyone, I'm Nasreen. Um, I'm Rasheen. I'm Sama. And welcome to Conversation With. These guys are described as the granddads of CAMS. Please feel free to introduce <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> and uh, I've been working in Cairns since 1989 and my background is social work. And, uh, and hi, I'm Steve, uh, Steve Milvrist, and I'm a, a nurse background. I haven't been working in Cairns since I started, but I did start back in 1983 um, and uh, yeah, Cairns since 2007 I think it is. That must be before they were born. A lot before they were born. So we'd like to know, what does a day in the life look like for you guys and how has it changed from when you guys did start? Well, I'm, I'm, um, I'll go if you want. Yeah. Uh, uh, right now, I'm, I'm acting as a manager who, uh, so our real manager is on maternity leave. So I'm just covering that space. So a regular day in the moment for me is um, well supervision uh, with the team, doing lots of different meetings. Oh gosh, the safeguarding meetings. I mean, the world is has changed. We didn't have things like the idea. The word safeguarding wasn't there back in the day. You know, we never even had you know like CPA meetings, you know, care program approach meeting. Yeah, that wasn't around back in the day. So um, so I'm not doing lots of clinical work at the moment. Um, that's my favourite bit. That's why you, you come in the job. But I could tell you what it was like when I first came into the job. So I used to wear a white coat so long ago and started work in the old asylums. So it was Rainhill Hospital. In fact, my brother lives there now in a house that was built on the grounds of the hospital, all of that was knocked down. And there was nothing like community services at all. There was nothing, I mean, really nothing. So if we had somebody on a ward and, and they left and they were back home and didn't want to come back, we'd get a taxi and a couple of nurses would go out from the hospital. And I remember having to have a discussion, saying to the ward manager, the charge nurse, I don't think we should have the white coats on. <laughs> and and they finally agreed because it was seen as part of your uniform. So uh, we took the white coats off. And then to the guy that I was with at the time as well, said, like, we're looking really smart. Do you know, we've got proper shirts on. Let's take our ties off. Do you know, make it a bit more relaxed and things like that. So, yeah, very, very different back in the day. More use of ECT as well. Electric therapy. You know the shock therapy, yeah. Uh, and some some of the guys that were in the hospital, I remember one guy, uh, and and he was such a character. And I thought, I know you've been here a long time, and they had this book that looks like the original Bible, in the bottom of the school of nursing, which had a, housed a museum, and opening this book, and I finally found him, um, and he was admitted in 1935 and he'd been in hospital all that time and for some of the guys it was it was a great place because it was a proper little town with shops a couple of cafes big hall we used to have christmas shows uh every year and it wasn't us and them thing it was very much we we all had talents and staff and patients all came together to set up a show but also people were in there for an awful long time and it was ridiculous you know yeah very very different gosh i don't even think about that these days yeah so what for me i never worked like a like a in a hospital as such yeah so for me what i've noticed a big difference like i've always worked in a community setting is terminology's changed so things like child protection register used to be kept at Woods Cross Hospital, and now it's everything is about safeguarding. That that's the new kind of terms they use. I've noticed a lot of change from paper files. Yeah, everything used to be like on paper, mm. you make file, bits, you know, files are written, put away somewhere, and that to everything is like computerized. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
In terms of medical diagnosis as well, there's a lot of changes because it was very rare that you'd get a referral for a young person coming in, say, in, in the 80s and early 90s, yeah, for something like, say, anorexia or ADHD. ADHD was a very new thing, uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. That was, in America, it, the kind of first lot of diagnoses were made before it didn't exist in this country. And in the late 80s is when they started the, the kind of terminology and about medication. But before that, there wasn't anything. Yeah, they just It was just seen as kids are naughty or something. So that's a big change. So the kind of conduct disorders, what they call them now, is, is a big change. Yeah. Um, and eating disorders is a big change. And it wasn't really recognised. And obviously in terms of obesity, it was very... Virtually unheard of, you'd have kind of a, mm. children with kind of obesity. And, and girls didn't you know, have autism, did they? Know, and that it wasn't recognised as such. Yeah. So that's that's a big change that's happened. Um, we get more kind of referrals. And again, around self-harming, you would get children with self-harming. Yeah. But but it was less young children and young people with like severe self-harming. That's the kind of changes that, I, that I've seen a lot of, the, the types of presentations or what's been recognised and the referrals.